Wow, this is a very hectic trail. This is a tough, a tough climb, right, Erica? But it sure is a pretty one. There's so many places we were able to stop and fill up our water. The water is so clean up here, but always better to filter it just in case you don't want to take a chance, right? We've got snow, guys. <laughs> the further we go up, the more we're gonna find snow. Oh, it's so wet too. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's snow. Oh wow. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's snow. Like we're almost June, and there's snow up here. I feel like I put some of that snow in my mouth. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's snow in the mountain. Yeah. More snow. Look at all the pretty moss. It sure is pretty up here, that's for sure. But it's all uphill. We definitely need to stop soon. Yeah, more snow. We're narrow the path, got it. Eh? Yeah. So pretty. I could only. I, I can't even yeah. tell you. This is crazy. It's all going up, 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 up. Better get some good view up there. Better be worth it. Hey, bear. Just coming to visit. We're walking through. My heart is definitely racing. How beautiful. I know that's all I'm saying, but it's so, it's so true. Look how beautiful it is. And snow. Water and snow, Eric. How pretty, and look at that beautiful hill we have to go up. <laughs> How beautiful is this, guys? We'd have to remove our bags. Yeah, I know. So do you and then... Going? What time is it now? Because we could have a big dinner, I guess. Yeah, we'll just eat all our food tonight. Uh, okay, so we're going to be walking up that massive hill up there. We're at already 500 meter elevation. Yeah, we're at 500 meter elevation. And there's snow up here. But it's so hot and beautiful and sunny. What a great day. Yeah. So we're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna record this because if I record it, I won't be able to walk it. So I'll see you at the top. 
How pretty is this? Smile, Erica. Oh. are deep into the woods and clouds have come in on this side of the mountain but look there's snow you'll find patches of snow but yeah two kilometers left I'm so happy this bag is killing the nerve on my back I definitely have to adjust it but just the idea to take it off and adjusting it is a pain in the butt. But how beautiful is this trail? So we've been walking since 10 o'clock this morning. It is now after three. And we have two kilometers left. So I think we did pretty good timing on this first. We did because it said five this to first six trail. hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, your water. Oh. Crazy. No lacking of water up here, that's for sure. And I wish you could smell it. Hey, Erica, what does it smell like? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys. Okay, we're taking a little minute because the nerve on my right thigh, not my hip, not the thigh, is killing me. Something. I either packed my bag too heavy on one side. Oh, look how pretty that looks over there, Erica. Right. Here's my water. I could drink. But look how beautiful this is, guys. And that's the trail we came up from. Beautiful. The trail is beautiful. I can't even tell you how beautiful this trail is. We make so much noise with our bear bells. I think we're scaring every animal away, even the birds. <laughs> Cheers to you. I've got my smart water bottle that we keep refilling with our Sawyer squeeze. There you go, Erica, you want to record while I uh, drink a bit? Yeah. If you don't mind, do you need some water? Okay. Everything is so beautiful. Oh God, just the idea that we'd have to walk this much to get to the land. <laughs> well, if it was easy to get to, this was this beautiful. Well, there are places where basically in the winter you need a skidoo to get in there. Yeah. There are places like that. Where you leave your car, but not this far. Oh wow, is this some flat land? A little flat land. Amen. My legs just don't want to take me. How beautiful is this? Is. Uh. Hey bear.
just walking through. Beautiful and mystical this place. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're almost there, guys. We should be at the hut pretty soon. Definitely no lack of water here. This trail's got all the water you need. Hey, Eric. Yeah. And it's so pretty. And just the sound. There's little patches of snow here and there's some icy patches. Beautiful. Oh, look at the moose that went by here. Is that a moose? That's a moose. Are you sure? A big moose too. Or is it just a big deer? No, that's a big moose. I don't know. Yeah, that's a moose. Had like the long thing. All right, guys. I spotted the the hut finally after what was it six hours of hiking we finally made it to the hut and our feet are sore <laughs> our bodies are sore <laughs> but there it is thank the lord and we have water oh Lots and look at the lake beautiful lake i'm gonna give you guys a tour i'm so excited if i could walk any faster right now i would if i could run i would Look how cute it is. What a cute hat. That is. And there's the anna. There's the wood. And there's the wood. And the lake. Outhouse. What is that? Look at the water. The water. There's a fire pit. Oh, there's even there's even a uh, boat. Ah. Okay, so we came in from that way, and this is our beautiful hut that we're gonna stay. And we have a fire pit, and we also have lots of water to filter. And this is where we're gonna be heading tomorrow. And they said rain all day tomorrow, so we'll see. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can walk up these stairs. Oh, oh that's like a challenge. So here we go, guys. Here's our beautiful hut. Look at that, there's bunk beds. Someone thought it was too heavy. We have a table. Candles. Candles. There's our beds. Beautiful. So oh, that's it, guys. We have wood. We should get some more wood, eh, Erica? 
and heat up this place. I'm not going up there because my back hurts too much. Are you we taking this side or that side? Oh, we're not going to go up? I can't do the I other. I see what it's like up there. I don't think I can do it. I can't do the up. Oh. I can't. Okay, guys. All right, we'll so these pots are already here. So we went and filled them up with lake water. Um, we have a pot of water. This is my pot I brought. Um, just on the stove boiling for when we want some more hot water. We have a fire going that it's great. We added some more logs because it was almost out. It's nice and toasty. Mom's chicory. Yeah, mom's. This is the chicory we picked earlier, the dandelion. She's washing it in the sink we brought. We made some tea. And this is my tea. We have some tortillas. And we're making Louisiana red beans and rice. It's, um cooking in here. Well, cooking. It's rehydrating. Um, what else? Oh, we and we made bottle. our little hummus. We rehydrated hummus. And yeah, so we're going to cook these because we rinsed them in the, in the lake water and we just want to be safe and so we're going to cook them. Yeah, I don't know if would have put them raw, but... Yeah, we would have eaten them raw. But, but I broke my Sawyer squeeze. Yeah, she Not had the to the bo the bag. She had to tape it up because yeah, it broke. But yeah, so that's There's what's going on. We're, our, gonna have we're trying to organize this place a little bit. But yeah, so th this is what it looks like. So it's we nice set up our bed log cabin. That's where mom's gonna sleep. This is where I'm gonna sleep. I have lay out your pillow. my clothes hanging. Um, we have wood here. And then there's an upstairs that's like this. So this fits, how many people did they say, Ma? Like 14 people? Yeah, so that's that, but we're the only ones here, which is great. Ugh. And yeah, so that's it. And then this is the, oh, look how sunny it is now, Ma. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. So this is the view of the beautiful lake from inside here. Beautiful. Yeah, we have to keep walking up and down to get water. So that's fun. Kind of MacGyvered it. Uh, I wanted to bring some uh, gorilla tape, but my daughter told me not to. So I'm using my bandage. It's the same bandage, I use, <laughs> bandage as I use on my skin. And this stuff is really great. I'll tell you the name or I'll write it down. Um, I'll write the name down when we uh, when I'm editing the video so you'll know which I'm talking about but if you ever have a blister or if you have a cut of any kind this stuff sticks and it stays on for a long time so it's a great great tape to have mm -hmm. where's your oil in my bag right yep. all right guys so we were lucky today to find chaga this stuff is so expensive if you buy it at the store um, we're going to take a chunk of this and we're going to put it in a pot over our fireplace and we're just going to let it seep and boil until it makes us a nice coffee that we can drink later on this evening but we have lots of chaga i just washed it in my little sink this is like a lot of chaga you can use this many many times yes. and you'll still get benefits from it we're really excited erica was the one who spotted it and you find them on birch trees that's right. But when you harvest them, you don't want to take the whole thing. You want to take leave, leave at least half behind or else you'll prevent the chaga from growing again. Yeah. So I just gave it a quick wash in our sink. And I'm going to dump this water for now. Or actually, I'll leave it for, for the dishes. Yeah. I put some newspaper because it's not the best 
the best bag. Actually, I have a bag that I should be able to put that in. It's good, though. But it's holding. I put some newspaper under it, so it's going to hold this whatever is water. really, we're roughing it. We are roughing <laughs> it, yes. But it's um, all good, right? Yeah, it's good. All right, so we put the chaga in here, and we're going to let that boil. It should boil for like 15 minutes, I think. Let it seep. The longer it seeps, the better it is. So this is where we're headed tomorrow. We came from here. We're heading here tomorrow. Twenty. It says 20 kilometers. Oh, no, I see. It's 16 kilometers, yeah, to La Cache. So tomorrow's 16 kilometer walk. going okay. so here we go a little bit of olive oil and we're going to make our beautiful chicory you don't have to use olive oil if you want you could just blanch them in boiling water and i'm just going to cut these in half let's hope that they don't the oil doesn't spray everywhere there we go Here we go. There we go. No salt. We don't need salt. There's enough salt in our beans and rice. Oh man. Do you have your bear spray? It's in my bag. Okay. I'm just putting it in my bag. Might want to get your spoon. Yeah, how's the water here? Does it come to a boil? It does, eh? It just takes a while. We could do the, uh, is this hot? Can actually do the uh, that canister in there. You want to do that? You don't want to cook if it on the hungry. fire? Well, we could. We could open up this and cook it in there. No, the handle's gonna burn off. Okay. Oh. Just give it time for the. So we're only cooking this because we just rinsed it in lake water. Uh, if uh, if we would have eaten it straight from, like, fresh, I mean, we could have done it, but they got wilted, so I did soak them in water a bit. But otherwise, if you go outside, I mean, it's pretty clean. I mean, you know, I'm not worried about an animal walking over it. Um, but if you're worried, like I said, rinse it and then just cook it up a bit. And that'll kill whatever lake water. I just washed it in lake water rather than filtered water. But if you had washed it in filtered water, you can eat this fresh in a wrap. But we're going to cook it up a little. It doesn't matter. So, beautiful chicory. Fresh chicory picked outside. And this is going to be delicious in our wraps. Right? Mm-hmm. And cooking little, it is going to make... It's taking a little longer on this... Uh, on this uh, That's okay. On this stove, but... Well, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, it still works. Yeah, you could have put it inside, but it's still doing its thing. It's going. And this, if you've never eaten it before, it's a little bitter, but that's what, that's the benefit. The bitter part of this is what the benefit is. It's very detoxing. And very good for you. And high in fiber, of course. You've got to get those greens in. And look at this. We have an abundance growing right outside. So even if you're going hiking or camping, and if you, um, if you didn't have a chance to carry a lot of fresh stuff because you're, uh, you can't carry it, 
uh, in your knapsack because you know it does get heavy uh, all you have to do is look around and pick some chicory uh, I was gonna go look for some chicory flowers because I want to make a nice tea later on with that but I haven't seen any here we go this is like done yeah it's good so we're gonna put this in our wrap guys I think we're making wraps or we're yes, just uh, I want a yeah? wrap. <laughs> I'm so hungry. So that's how simple it is. These are done ready to be eaten. Okay, guys, there's our wild chicory, our hummus that was dehydrated, and we have beans and rice. And I'm sure later on we're going to eat something else because guess what we did today? We did not eat yeah, any lunch. lunch. So my daughter's putting it all in a wrap. I'm going to eat mine with a spoon, and I'm going to wrap this up. And yum, yum, yum. Delicious. There's boats, but no oars. I wonder if the oars are in any. Right? Look how still this water is. is this lake like Erica said earlier she goes just think ma this lake is on top of the mountain Look how beautiful it is it is crazy to think of it eh? boats with no oars it would have been nice if there was some oars right I don't know look at those boats look at the edge of those boats that's it. We ate our dinner. Erica made us the beans and rice, right? Beans and rice. It was the store-bought uh, backpacker's meal. And I brought the hummus I made, and we put some of that in the wrap, along with some beautiful juice. wild chicory yeah. that I picked. And we're picking more tomorrow because that's so good for us. And we're drinking some chaga tea. Really, really good. Life can be better right now. I do miss my husband and my doggy and my cats and my fish. But right now, I've got my youngest daughter Erica with me. I wish Amanda was here. My grandkids. If I start naming them, I'm going to miss them all. <laughs> but you know what? It's good to miss them sometimes. It makes you stronger and just more exciting to see them again. See them again. Listen to the sound, guys. I'm going to be quiet. And we've got new hikers. So there's six of us in the, in the cabin tonight. Okay guys, so I'll see you a little later. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.